excited to have you here and welcome to the first lesson of the place value class, right? So here we're going to be learning about digits, numbers, the place of every digit and so many interesting activities to do and of course I wrote a poem for you. Okay, so I'll tell you more about that later. It all starts with digits. What does that mean? Right? So, how do we form numbers? How do numbers come about? Numbers are made from digits. Numbers are made from digits. You know, just like we make a cake from flour and sugar and milk and maybe butter. Numbers are made from digits. So we put digits together in different ways to form numbers. Now, how many digits do we have in all? Ten of them starting from zero to nine. So if we count this together, we have zero, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten digits in all. And that's why we talk about single digit number. Have you heard about that before? Right? A single digit number has just one digit. Right? So numbers from 0 to 9 are single digit number. So if I ask you, how many digits does this number have? 1 has just one digit. 1 is a one digit number. What about 0? Is 0 a number? Yes! 0 is a number with just one digit also. And then numbers from zero, like I said, to nine are all one digit number. Or we say single digit number. But we have a lot of numbers. Right? So how do we come about forming this number? By combining digits in different ways. So if we put two digits no two digits together, like we have in two digit numbers right in two digit numbers so let's pick any digit from zero to nine and see how we form numbers for them right so i will take um let's have four and then i can put two behind it you know let me say four and two forty two you know four with a two and this is forty two this is a two digit number i can decide to rearrange this and let two come before four and then it's no longer 42, it's 24. And that's why the place of each of these digits matters in telling us what number this is. So because 2 now is in the tens place, it's now 24. Yeah, it was in the units place. Don't worry, we'll learn more about that. Now let's see also what if we have three digit numbers. Three digit numbers. Right? So let's just look at three digits that I just want to mix different ways i'll take mm, let me have two on oh, okay two let's also have eight and let's have uh, should they have zero or nine i would have zero so this number as it is arranged is 280 i can also decide to bring zero first right and then i have zero two and eight this is 28 because zero before a number is actually minus so this is 28 because there's nothing in the hundreds place i can decide to arrange that i have 208 instead this is 208 let's see other combinations that is possible Okay, so there could be another one. Let's see, we'll put eight first, and then I can decide to put two after, and then I have zero. This time around, I have eight to eight. <laughs> I can also decide to have eight, and uh, a zero first, and then two. This is 802, and then the combinations can go as many, as different ways as possible, right? And that's how we get to combine numbers. So what the time is, what this number is, depends on the place of these digits. And that's why we're here. Place value. So learn and understand the place of every digit. So, okay, so that'll be all for today's lesson. But you have an activity to do. 
So I will be providing you with three digits and then I want you to combine it just like I have done and tell me which of these available options can be made for those digits, right? Okay, good job, good job. So, what have we learned today? One, we have learned that numbers are made from digits. And I hope you are keeping a good note, right? So you can pause this video at, the, at this point and make sure that you write this. As well as always try to keep notes as we continue with the lesson. You'll be thankful that you did. Now, we've learned that numbers are made from digits, just like we make cake from flour, right? And then we have 10 digits in all. There are only 10 single digits, right? Then these digits, the digits can be combined in different ways to form numbers. Now, do you want to do something for me? Don't even stop at the three digits that are provided for you. Just try as much as possible to form different numbers and look at how amazing this can be. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.